Hey guys, welcome to the show. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, change all your pictures in your friends and family's homes to the Tab Show logo. This will help spread awareness about this show. On to the events. Friday, September 2nd, Magic the Gathering, Dominaria? Am I saying that right? Dominaria? Dominaria United Pre-Release Tournament. It's $32.50 per seat. Sign up online, I believe, 6 p.m. start time. This is a three-round Swiss-style sealed pre-release uh, competition. Purchase of a spot guarantees one pre-release kit, a participation pack, and some other prizes as well. Saturday, September 3rd, we got the Marvel Crisis Protocol Challenger event. It's a $15 sign-up fee. Uh, long shanks. That's how you do it. Or just go to the Facebook page and uh, there's an event for it. Starts at 11 a.m. We're gonna let all of you nerds, including myself at 1030, get all set up. All right, Jazz, so looking forward to kicking some booty. Um, there will be some prize support. I can't remember what it is offhand, but you've heard Jason talk about it a couple, two or three times, so there you go. Magic the Gathering, Dominaria United Jumpstart pre-release. This is on September 3rd, $15, 5 p.m. start time. It, as the first one, is a three-round Swiss-style competition where you will receive two randomly selected jumpstart packs to make your deck. Um, players will receive one participation pack with winners getting extra prize support. So, I mean, might as well play to win, right? Sunday, September 4th, the D&D Junior Adventures League, $5 uh, sign-up fee. Speaking of sign-ups, online, shop.theadventurebeginstx.com. Um, to sign up, if you can't sign up, well, you're too late, it's full. I've just been informed that the D&D Juniors uh, starts at noon now, not four, because you know, it's a school night and all that jazz. News to me is it's news to you. Now we can go look at some comics. All right, man, it's time to fill your stash this week. Here are the top books I recommend coming into The Adventure Begins and picking up before anyone else does. Amazing Fantasy 1000. That's right, 1000 books. Uh, I got to take a look at it, man. It's, uh, it's pretty fun. A lot of great stories. Uh, it's the first appearance of Conspiratron, which is like an LSD monster. <laughs> uh, there's a sequel to Amazing Fantasy 15 which is pretty dope. Uh, this has the first appearance of Witch Queen, which I think is the first appearance. Also, uh, there's a dope story by uh, Neil Gaiman about Spider-Man and Ditko, which is really nice. Um, for those asking about the Mom uh, Momoko allocated issues, I don't know how many we're gonna have, if any, so don't call. <laughs> Gambit number two, it's got a few first appearances in this book. Harley Quinn 2022 annual, uh, the Jim Lee homage to Batman 608. That's what this cover is all about. Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood, number four. Got a first appearance in there. Power Rangers Unlimited, number one. Uh, I believe it's the Death Rangers first appearance. Might be wrong, but uh, regardless, looks pretty awesome. Star Wars Obi-Wan, number four. This story is Apocalypse Now. So if you've seen the movie and you like it and you like Star Wars, cool. Uh, it's going to trigger some memories, I guess. If you've never seen Apocalypse now because you're like, it's too long, read this book. There's the movie. Obviously, choose your own destiny cover. Superman World Apocalypse number one. There's a character death in this one. I won't spoil it, but uh, this w weathered cover looks pretty dope. Thunderbolts number one. Uh, new team and first appearance of Guts and Glory. Seems like a pretty cool character. Variants number three, more first appearances of uh, the Jessica Jones variants. And plus, this, the story's pretty cool, but this one's kind of girly, if you're into that kind of thing. Wonder Girl 2022 annual. There's quite a few first appearances of this one. She's all over the, or the story is all over the, the timeline or whatever. So, uh, got a lot of new people. Anyway, those are your books to pick up this week.
zijn Wolfgang von Strucker. Oh, is this Brandon Strucker? Or, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it's got he's got the Vaughn. It's got all that fancy stuff. It's got Wolfgang Vaughn. That's his whole name. Yeah. Plus, I'm kind of uh, biased toward the Vaughn. Oh, you like that Vaughn, huh? Yeah. He's a super villain, first appearing in Marvel's Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos. Number five in January of 1964. 1964? That's right. A former Nazi officer, he was one of the leaders of Hydra terrorist organization and an enemy of S.H.I.E.L.D., the Avengers, and of course, the great old United States of America. Of course. His powers include exceptional hand-to-hand -hand combat, excellent swordsman and marksman, a uh, master of disguise, and a great actor. That's not his deal. He's a great actor. Well, okay. And surprisingly, he has a limited healing factor. He does have some. Yes. So I, apparently he was uh, experimenting on himself, and he was like, you know, the only thing I want, a healing factor. Yeah. It, it, that works very slowly. Yeah. <laughs> so let's compare this to the car. To MCP? Well, I think they did a really interesting job. Almost bang on. It kind of surprised me there. Uh -huh. So we got Baron Strucker. He's three threat. He's size two. Just sort of, you know, regular size bloke. Yeah. He's got five health on his front side. His defenses are four physical, three energy, and three mystic. Um, he's got a medium move. All pretty standard stuff for a three threat, right? Yeah. Now, on his inner side, he's completely the same. No differences, no changes. His first attack is called Plasma Blast. It's an energy attack. It's got range three, it's five dice, zero power. After this attack is resolved, this character gains power equal to the damage dealt. Right on. That's it. That's cool. Nothing special. Uh, his second attack is called The World is Mine. <laughs> We're going to be playing into this theme quite a bit with the Hydra. Yeah, for sure. I love him. Uh, it's a physical attack, range 2, strength 7, power 4. After this attack is resolved, this character removes one damage from itself for each damage dealt. Oh, that's not bad. So I guess that kind of goes into not only the healing factor, but, you know, that he's a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, right, right. that's not bad. So then his leadership, because he is a leader of Hydra, mm -hmm. as well as Red Skull, we'll get into him soon. Uh, his leadership is called Hydra High Council. Affiliation Hydra. Once per turn, after an attack made by an ally character it was resolved, if the attack dealt damage, the ally character may use this leadership ability. Choose one special condition the ally character has. If the defending enemy character does not have the chosen special condition, it gains it and then the ally character loses a special condition. Oh, that's pretty dope. Yes. Additionally, once per turn, when an enemy character gains a special condition, the ally character that caused the effect may remove one damage from itself. That's pretty dope. So say they have poison on themselves, oh, yeah. they attack somebody, they do damage, they pass the poison over to them, and they heal themselves. Yeah. That's pretty dope. Yeah, yeah. His superpowers, he's got some things that play into that, of course. Of course. We have his active suit powers called Death Spore Virus. For two power, other characters, including his own, within range three, gains poison, poison special condition. So that's how he's handing out poison, handing out poison counters to everybody, and everybody on his team is handing them over to the to the other team. Just fertilizing people. Yes, dust spores all over the place. His reactive suit power is called arrogance. Makes sense. Maybe this plays into his uh you know, the right to act hard. Yes, <laughs> one power when this character is attacking before rolling attack dice, you may use this power. So, you have to decide if you're going to use it beforehand or not. Gotcha. So, you don't know what the dice are. Yeah, during this attack, add fails in the attack roll to the total number of successes for the attack. During this attack, add fails in the defense roll to the number of successes for the defender. Oh, wow. Okay, that's what's up. Arrogance. That is arrogance. Crazy. So there's a price to be paid for arrogance. It's very true. So very flavorful. I just love this character. It's just it's great. really cool. Uh, NH2 power, strategic genius. This character and another ally characters within range two of it may reroll one die in their attack or defense roll. So very similar to Baron Zemo. Yeah. It's a good good thing. Doesn't cost any power. Throws off rerolls of people. Um, it's very nice. And then his last NH2 power, healing factor one. Oh, nice. There you go. Yeah, that's ties awesome. right in with the... With yeah, the when I read that off, I was like, healing factor? I yes. Like, uh, I guess why not? So if you think about that, it ties into, like, exceptional healing. You can use that to reduce yeah. all damage down to one. Yeah. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. That's, that's Baron Strucker. 
I'm going to have to use him in my healing factor team. Yeah, that, mm, <laughs> little spice. So, yeah, Wolverine, uh, Saber 2, X-23, Baron Strucker. <laughs> and some pepper spray. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. Uh, that's your MCP for this week. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys on Saturday. Because I'm yes. going to be here bright and early on Saturday. That's right. And uh, you're going to be here bright and early on Saturday. Yes, I will. We will let folks in for the tournament in early at 1030 so we can get some of the admin prep done. And then we will start at 11. Okay, man. See you guys then. Check it out. Welcome back to another segment of uh, Hot Wings with Chaz, I guess. What we call this? Hot Wings with Chaz? Yeah. yeah. All right, man. It's time to get saucy with yours truly. Here we go. Welcome to a brand new episode of Getting Saucy with yours truly, Chaz. Uh, this week, Mr. Monday himself. It's Monday. That's right, man. And then we've got the semi-new guy. Dylan. All right, today, well, first off, man, we got wings from Taz. Not only are they juicy, delicious, and baked, um, they're just good for your soul. So we want to thank Tap Draft House and Conroe, our neighbors, for supplying the wings. And uh, come send me all this trivia every Tuesday. All right, today we've got Mad Dog 357, 25th anniversary, turbocharged with number nine plutonium. This sauce will blow you away. Over 1 million Scoville. Oh, yeah. Warning, this sauce is very hot. <sighs> Sorry. Use it at your own risk. This sauce is very hot. I don't know. What do we have on the, uh, the ingredients today? Oh, let's see. Shake well. <laughs> let's see. Reaper, scorpion, and ghost peppers. Red wine vinegar. Distilled vinegar. Fresh chopped onion and garlic. Oh, I'm blind. There's vegetables in there. Look, my face is already watering. <laughs> reading these things. All right, real quick, I agree as indicated by my opening of this bottle as follows in connection with my purchase of this product. This product is extremely hot. I will use with extreme care. This product must be used at my own risk and I fully understand the potential danger if handled improperly. <laughs> if I give this product as a gift, I will make the recipient fully aware of its potential danger, which Julius did not do. He just said it was not the most hot, hot sauce. I hereby disclaim, release and relinquish any and all claims of actions and lawsuits that, well, that I or any of my dependents, you guys are effed, um, blah, 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 party related, yeah, it's just hot, okay? That's yeah, a big thing. So it has plutonium in it. If you guys don't know what plutonium is, that is the number one extract in the world as far as how hot it is. So it has <laughs> a drop of it in there. Uh, it's, not, it's not much, but... Uh, plutonium is like a drop can do like uh, seven pots of chili. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Julius supplied all of the um, hot sauces for uh, last week, this week, and next week. And he said this is not the hottest one. No. And it's got plutonium um, in it, so we'll let, yeah. uh, let you guys... Like, ghost pepper is bad enough, but the fact that they also have, apparently have a pepper named after a poisonous insect is uh, also quite fun. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Start us off good, right. sir. God. See so my this face. Is, this is a little bit on the thinner side. It's not one of the thicker sauces. I'll, I'll learn from last week when uh, I will not talk as I take the initial because it does like to shoot in the back yeah, of your face. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of plutonium you got there, Dylan. Who yeah, gonna gonna come out of here with some Hulk powers? Yeah. Well, I mean, three fifty-seven bullet right there. All right, man. This is Mad Dog three fifty-seven twenty-fifth anniversary. And uh, guys, you ready? It doesn't smell as bad as last week. All right. That was sweeter. Mm hmm. Okay. Almost like a sweet and tangy. It is. Okay. I like this one because it's not kicking me right in the face. Though it is spicy. This one is bad. I kind of like this one. No, you yeah. This one's not bad. A bit more of a slow burn, a little more manageable. Yeah, yeah it's a builder. Want? Is it? Yeah, it's a builder. Okay. Well, let's see. I mean, if we're gonna do it, we gotta do it right. Let's make sure. 
Yep, that, I'm probably gonna regret that. That one spot in my mouth is getting slowly mm. hotter. Yeah, the tip of my tongue is a little pinky. Okay. Well, I got feel it there. Whew. Yeah, that's not an instant one. That oh, one. no, that's not an instant <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a builder. And I went back for that second one. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it, man. I'm probably gonna regret that. Okay. Dylan, well, your review. So it's a, um, God, if you I like a good it? hot sauce that you can actually taste before it gets hot, this is a really good option. Uh, you are not going to be disappointed with how hot it is. Uh, it, uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's getting there. <laughs> Julius is once that? again unfazed. <clears throat> uh, your review on this hot sauce, Julius, why, how does it do it? Why does it, how does it do that? <laughs> how does it creep up like that? <laughs> It's definitely a builder. It doesn't just hit you right in the mouth. It builds up. Yeah. Well, how do you like the taste? Yeah, it's sweet. It hits you with that sweet first, that sweet taste first. Like, I'm not really hot. And then it slowly <laughs> builds up. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, uh, oh, man. Mm. Went to the back of the throat. <clears throat> it's sweet. Uh, I thought it was really good, but nope. That's not. That's Mad Dog 357. I'm done. <laughs> Before we go, here's this week's pet of the week. This is Ollie the dog. It's fluffy. It's cute. I'm not even a dog guy, but looking at a picture like this, I'm like, I want a dog. Anyway, if you guys have pets, send those pictures right over to my personal email. We'll throw it on the show. You want your comics, games, and sports cards, but you don't want to leave the house because, man, it's flooding outside. Just stop by our online shop at shop.theadventurebeginstx.com for all of your nerdy needs. Shipping to all 50 states over $100. New episodes drop every week uh, on certain social media platforms like uh, Facebook and on YouTube, as well as on Roku for me and for you through thewoodlandsonline.com. Hope you had a great time tonight and join us next week. For more comics, games, events, more and more. Before we go, do you know it's National Beach Day? National Beach Day on a gloomy week. Uh, what's your favorite item to take to the beach, Austin? I don't like the beach. I don't either. But if you're, if you're going to go, what, what kind of food item would you take? A hot dog? A hot dog. That's horrible. Horrible. You take a sandwich. It's a perfect food. What's your favorite sandwich? What's your favorite beach food to take, man? Let us know in the comments, man. See you, nerd.